Welcome to Facts for Real Videos. While the construction of a new high-rise draws much attention, in reality, demolitions can be far more impressive, particularly in sizable, densely populated cities. So let's look at the world's tallest demolitions. Number 8, the Ocean Tower. Our first tower was near SpaceX's new spaceship facility on South Padre Island in Texas. Its previous height was 115 meters, or slightly over 375 feet. It dropped in 2009. The structure was planned to house opulent condos with a spa, gym, and swimming pool for residents to use. However, the support columns of the ocean tower began to show signs of cracking after two years of development. It was out that the tower's base had sunk by over 16 inches. Consequently, the skyscraper formally acquired the moniker. The South Padre Leaning Tower Even though the building crew hoped to rectify it, the damage had already been done. Engineers studied the issue afterward. They stated that the remodeling work would be unaffordable and excessively pricey. The building was controlled imploded in December 2009 by a business called Controlled Demolition Incorporated. The building, which cost $75 million, was the biggest concrete construction to ever implode. To maintain the safety of the island's people, the park near to the ocean tower was shut down for the day. There was a viewing area. Hotels and restaurants nearby witnessed the skyscraper collapse. Number 7. Landmark Building The Landmark Tower in Fort Worth, Texas, stands 380 feet, or roughly 116 meters, tall. When it first became accessible to the general public in 1957, it was the city's tallest tower. On top of the structure, there was the biggest rotating digital clock in the entire globe. Initially, the building was entirely occupied. But at the conclusion of its life, after 30 years, it was once wholly neglected. In March 2000, it was struck by a tornado and suffered serious damage. The building's demolition was planned upon for 2006. To perform, the Midwest wrecking business ordered the evacuation of 15 city blocks. Using a little more than 360 pounds of explosives, the implosion was caused. The iconic tower was brought to its knees in a matter of minutes. Number 6, Eighth Tower is 116 meters, 382 feet, tall. This structure was the tallest skyscraper ever torn down in Europe. The AFE Tower once belonged to the Goth University's campus in Frankfurt, Germany. They desired to take it apart piece by piece. But following repeated protests from the locals about the drawn-out procedure, it was decided to blow up the structure instead. The media paid close attention to their new intentions. More than 30,000 individuals attended. 2014 saw the implosion live and in person. The concrete skeleton around with a loud thud. A few seconds later, the building core was taken down first. Two bombs on separated the building core itself. One portion of the 5th and 17th floors fell to the south, the other to the north. To the dismay of the Goethe University students, the site remained empty for a few years before the 140 West Residential and Hotel Tower was constructed. Hotel rooms are located below the premium flats in the new building. Number 5, Building in the City of Xi'an in November 2015. A structure that is 118 meters, or just over 387 feet, tall. In Xi'an, China, the Golden Flower structure was destroyed. It was the nation's tallest skyscraper that had ever been destroyed. The high-rise structure was first constructed in 1996. Nevertheless, it had not been utilized for many years. Legally, it belonged to the Jinhua Pharmaceutical Factory. To try to remodel looked to be too pricey. China ultimately chose to employ the Pongchon explosion firm to remove the tower. To lessen the impact of the explosion, the business first dug a 13-foot deep trench around the perimeter using 1.4 tons of dynamite. 12,000 detonators, the structure collapsed and was destroyed. While the demolition was quickly finished and cleaned up, it previously took nearly 70 days to clear the 66-foot high heaps of trash. Construction of a new commercial complex cleared the area. 
immediately started with commercial and residential buildings. Number 4, the Detroit department store known as J.L. Hudson was first constructed far back in 1911. One of the most outrageous demolitions ever took place in Michigan. The structure housed both offices and retail establishments. After more than 80 years of operation, the 134-meter, or 440-foot-tall store was the tallest department store in the world when it was open to the public. The department store J.L. Hudson was destroyed in 1998 for $20,000. The boom from the implosion was so powerful that it damaged the windows of surrounding retail establishments that had already been abandoned while people watched. Even unintentionally damaged. The city's elevated train since is the Detroit People Mover. Then work on a 912-foot, or 278-meter, tall skyscraper, which will likely debut in 2022, began nearby. Number 3, the power plant at Brayton Point Although the demolition of the Brayton Point technically does not count as a building, this one does. The coal power plant was awesome. A building in Somerset, Massachusetts, was first used in the 1960s and was still in use as of May 2017. Two of the plant's cooling towers were demolished in 2019 by the business that owned the facility, years after the plant was shut down. The blow-up of one of the tallest cooling towers ever set a world record as a result of the explosion. These towers are only a few feet taller than the cooling tower at the Trojan nuclear power plant, which was the first cooling tower ever to be destroyed in 2006, with each building standing at 500 feet, or roughly 152 meters. In the coming months, people from all across New England will travel to the Brayton Point power station to witness the demolition live. The demolition of various power plant components was still being done by the crew. Metal started a number of fires every day. Following these explosions, which made the demolitions even more bizarre. Number 2 Mina Square This tower's construction was never finished. While the Mina Plaza continued to profit. The name of the tallest structure to be destroyed. The plaza had four distinct towers that were each 165 meters, 541 feet, tall when construction first started. In 2007 at the Mina Plaza. They started building in 2008, but stopped in 2012 owing to a disagreement with the owners, even though they had intended to finish in 2014. The structure was left unoccupied. In 2020, the administration in the capital chose to demolish because to financial problems. The structures were not simply thought to be an eyesore. However, the demolition was a part of a larger scheme to improve the Mina Zayed port. Making sure no one in the capital of the United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi, would be hurt by the implosion was a priority for the team in charge of destroying the Mina Plaza. They conducted an analysis of the structure and its surroundings to determine the safest demolition method, which involved utilizing 13,000 pounds of plastic explosives. Three of the towers collapsed first as they fell to the ground, but all four were transformed into enormous mounds of debris after 10 seconds. Number 1, Power Plant West Holt. Our first choice was going to be Mina Plaza. However, we didn't want to hold back. Standing at 337 meters, or 1,105 feet tall, this last demolition is from you. The highest controlled structure ever to be destroyed was the chimney of the power plant Westerholt. The former 165 meter tall Mina Plaza is not the only megatall chimney that has been demolished, there are several others as well. The highest chimney in Germany, however, was completed at Westerholt in 1981. A year after the power plant's decommissioning in 2005, the chimney met an unhappy end. Numerous onlookers gathered to see the explosion and take pictures as the building was destroyed at two distinct levels, with one explosion occurring near the bottom and the other in the middle. That it actually prevented the team from promptly demolishing the building. The chimney was nothing but a huge pile of junk. Please let us know which of these demolitions was your favorite in the comments section below. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you again soon.